How's it everybody? Money Shot here again and welcome back to Hawaii Crap Shooters. In this video, I'll be sharing with you one of my favorite strategies called the Hawaiian Horn. Check it out. So before we get to the strategy, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you, my viewers, for watching my videos, supporting my channel. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you'll be notified of my weekly videos. So let's get to the Hawaiian horn. So let me explain the Hawaiian horn. But first, let me tell you what my goal is when I'm playing this strategy. So what I'm trying to do is to make a hundred dollars per player random players with one or two hits and that's my goal i want to make a hundred dollars or fifty dollars on each hit or a bonus on the horn uh, which i'll be showing you but the reason why i want a hundred dollars is because one, the first hit, it will be for profit, $50. And the second hit will give me money to stay in the game. So that's the two hits I need to get a $50 profit and $50 to stay in the game, whether it be a 44 or an easy 46 or, you know, whatever I would like to play. But that's the beauty of this system. So. If I can make, this is my theory now, if I can make $50 per player, and if it's a full table of 10, that's $500 right there. And that's awesome. And you're still in the game playing with the other 50. And if it becomes a monster roll, you can collect and press, and you can do all these fancy presses that you prefer. But those are all extra gravy frosting on the cake uh, for you to ex make extra money but your base profit per player is going to be fifty dollars if you play this right so that is the goal of the hawaiian horn let's do the setup so the initial investment to play this hawaiian horn well at least for what i play for this level and to hit my goals that i talked about earlier of fifty dollars a hit is gonna be 100, 250, 310. I know that may be a lot. Well, it is a lot, but the only reason why I'm gonna play at this level is because I'm trying to make $50 per hit. You can always chop it in half. You can go what you're comfortable with. You should be going with what you're comfortable with. If you are squeezing and you are stressed when the dice is rolled and your bets are out, that's when you know you're betting too much. So bet at your comfort level. I bet it at 310 with a $1,500 bankroll, but you know, play what you wanna play. But for in this example of the strategy, I'm gonna show you what I do. Um, so the setup will be, I'm gonna try and make $70 on each number here for per hit. So the six and eight will be $60 each. And what when the point hits on the six or eight, I, 60 pays 70, so I get, I'm gonna get 70 here. On the five and nine, I'm gonna place $50 each. If, the, if you roll a nine or a five, you get $70 each. And for the four and 10, I'm gonna be placing it for $35. So I'm not gonna count the VIG in this example, but 35 pays double, we get 70. So we get 70 here, if it hits that, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70. So here is where the Hawaiian horn comes in. And this is the beauty of this strategy because this extra $20, we're gonna put it on the horn. All right, so the horn now will, if you roll the three or the 11, so $20 on the horn is gonna pay you $60. So we'll make 60 on that horn, 
and on the 3 and the 11. But here is the kicker. So if you hit the 2 or the 12, you're going to get 3 times of what the field number would give you on the 2 or 12. So what I'm saying is it pays 30 to 1. So on a $20 horn, it'll pay you total of 150, which is triple, minus the, the other 15, so you get 135. But this Hawaiian horn, the good thing about this is you change the two now into a three hitter, uh, triple. So you get triple here and triple here. So this is very, very advantageous if you're playing on a casino like on the strip where the 12 gives you only a double. So now with the Hawaiian horn, who cares what the house says they'll pay on the field. You just now change your 12 and 2 into a triple bet. You know, that's the awesome part of this Hawaiian horn. The other part about why I love this system is because I cover every single number. I got the 2, I got the 3, I got the 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So any number that the random roller will shoot, I'm going to get $50, right? So let's say he rolls, let's say he rolls a 5, 5 pays 70, right? 5 pays 70 minus your horn, your $20 comes down. Guess what? You just made $50 in your rack and you put this $20 back on the horn and if they roll again and they roll a 10, I'm sorry, 10, 75 pays 70, right? And we, the horn comes down and you, I'm sorry, that's not 70, this is 70 and you put this back, but we're only looking at for two rolls, right? Two rolls make $100 two hit and split get out of there it's a hawaiian horn you just made hundred dollars on two numbers any number and you can come down after and get your initial investment back and pocket everything so that's the awesome part of this strategy so but don't forget the bonus now let me line this back up. If, let's say, it hit the 12, and we have $20 on the horn, right? And it hits the 12. The 12 will pay us $135. $135. You know, that's amazing so you get actually you lose the 15 you get 140 so you get 140 and that's two hits already so if they hit the first roll on a 12 after they made their point or you know after they made their point and they hit a 12 guess what you don't have to wait two shots now you made 140 dollars on one shot how can you beat this system? This is this system is awesome. Even the two, if they roll the two, guess what? You made another 140. You're done. All of this is coming down. I'm taking all of this down and got my initial investment back. And I already made, look how much I made. $120 in one hit. I'll lock up this 50. This is like I said, $50 per player, per profit. And look, I'm, I can play with this now. I can go, I can go 44 inside. Let me change this. I can go 44 inside. And then I'll play here until the player sevens out right and i still lock up 76 dollars i'm 
stuck on my rack with $76 and in the game, 44 in case that random roller goes on a monster roll, I'm still in the game. I can press out, I can go on the easy, I can go easy here, come back down on the field. I can do whatever I want and still have my $50 in my rack that the casino cannot take and my initial investment that I'm gonna use, guess what? On the next shooter. Next shooter goes out, seven out. I'm gonna go back on everything again after after they make the point. Let's say it's six. And that'll be 60 again on the six and eight. 50 on the five and nine. And again, oh, I changed that quarter. There you go. Set up again, $20 on the field. You got your $50 in your rack. All set up again, good to go. Hit one number, get 50 bucks. So take $50, you get that hit. After that, you always collect. You're not gonna press. Uh, I'll show you a press in another one, but you take that money, collect that second hit, hoping that they hit the two and 12, if not, Take your another 50, take your initial investment back down. You now made $100 on two shooters and you got $50 to play with. Do it over and over again. This is the horn come down. That's the setup for the Hawaiian horn. So Hawaiian horn, I like to call it, give me 50. Hawaiian horn, give me 50 or, you know, turning your twos and twelves if you're on the strip back into a triple pay so this is an awesome strategy i'm going to try it out on a live roll so hang in there let's try it out see if it works all right let's go to the live roll so my buy-in i'm just going to do three rollers i don't want this video to be that long Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thousand dollar buy in. Here, we're gonna go roll for three random rollers and we'll see how the Hawaiian horn works. I'm gonna put my profits here and we'll see how the Hawaiian horn strategy works, if it works or if it flops. So, just hope we get no 0.7 outs or two shaker bakers. Um, so I'm gonna grab my dice here. All right, random roll. I'm just gonna throw it from here. All right, so dice out. First roller, 10. Four, six, 10. Sorry, the dice flipped. Four, six, 10. Mark the 10. We're gonna line up our Hawaiian horn. 50. Now, 35 on the four and 10, and 60 on the six and eight. And you guys can't see the horn, so I'm gonna leave the horn right here. So this is the horn, the $20 horn. All right, we're looking for a deuce or a 12, come on random roller. 10, winner 10, winner 10, four, six, 10. We lose the field, but we get paid. I'm not gonna put in the VIG right now just for the video purposes, but we make $70 here. Puck comes off. We don't play the field, we don't play on the come out. Sorry, put this here. All right, so wait again. We need two hits off this shooter. Dice out, 10, three tens in a row, hard 10. Mark the 10. All right, we need one more shot from this shooter. Come on, shooter. 
six hard six. This guy is a hard way shooter. This chicken feeder. All right, six pay 70. Oops, sorry, we forgot to put out the horn. That was supposed to be for the horn. So 70, horn comes down. We make our profits. We take, tell the dealer, take me down. We made our hundred dollars. And now we're gonna just collect until this guy sevens out. And that will be, I'm gonna play just 44 across. They're just gonna make it easy and go 44 across. We get change. And I'm gonna collect and then press. So why I like to collect and press is because it's a random roller. And they're probably gonna get out in seven shots, so uh, six shots, so 10. Winner, 10. Six, four, 10. Ooh, this guy is hot. Well, I got 44 there. I uh, made, you know what, I'm gonna just place the 10. He hit the 10 so much, so I believe in patterns, so we're gonna do that. Puck is off. Yo, 11, that's a winner. Line 11. I'm not playing the line though. Dice out. Nine. Nine. <clears throat> Mark the nine, dice out. Just trying to make all extra money. Nine again. <laughs> this guy is a hot shooter. We get 15 for one on the five, nine. $14 or 15 for one. Put that in our rack right there. All right. Dice out. Eight. Easy eight. Mark the eight. Mark the eight. Let's go. Extra money, baby. Extra money. Seven out. Seven out. All right. We lost this, but we did make our $50 profit. And that's how you make $50 per player. Um, I'm going to count later, but. I'm sure when you see the video, I made $50, I think. Um, all right, so shooter number two. All right, we're not placing anything. Dice out. Four. Easy four. Mark the four. Set up your Hawaiian horn here. Thirty-five on the four and ten, and sixty on the six and eight, and twenty dollars on the horn. All right, we need any number. That's the beauty of the Hawaiian. Oh, the twelve! The twelve! Guess what that means? We got one thirty. Five for this. 150 minus 50, we got 135 net. So, man, that's why I love this Hawaiian horn. 135, we just made our quota on this guy. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. You could take one more hit, but I don't wanna be greedy. I made my 135, I'm good. This is all coming down. Take me down. I'm gonna play 44 inside or, well, let's try a different strategy. And let's go do the easy. Get change here, 18 there. And then we're gonna pay $10 there. And we're gonna hop the fives with $2. So I don't know if you can see that, but I'm hopping the fives for $2, all right? Love those midnight numbers. All right, dice out. Everything else, we're stress-free. Eight, stress-free. We don't have to worry about anything. We lose the hopping fives, but we win $21 on the eight. 
minus the 10, so we actually want $11, right? And the field, field will come down, and then we win 21, same thing. So put the field back, put our hopping back, hopping the fives again. Easy, any number again. Three, two, one, three. Pays the field. We make ten dollars again. Extra money, extra money, because we're stress free. We got our investment back. We got fifty bucks back in profits. Twelve. Oh, another twelve. Triple the field. Triple the field. So we win thirty dollars on the field. I'm sorry. This hopping is supposed to have come down the other one. Put that back we lost the field again i mean the hops again put that back but we want 30 dollars who cares who cares because this is the hawaiian horn dice out three craps again easy gets paid because we're taking it easy ten dollars horn comes down put my five dollars here the horn is to hedge that field bet in case we lose it. Dice out. 10, 10, 10 pays this here, $10. Now we lose the field. Now we're not gonna go on the field now. Now we're just gonna go five, nine here and we'll just play it like that. So now we can start pressing or at least since we made a couple rolls on this hot shooter. Five, five, 10 pays 14 or 15 for one. One goes back in the rack. All right. So now I like to collect and press each number. Let's see how high we can go. Eight, eight. 18 pays 21. Made 21 here. I'll collect that eight. Dice out. Oh, short roll. Seven on the shorty. Seven on the shorty, but who cares with the Hawaiian horn? We're two hit split, we're out. All of this comes down, we don't care. We made money on this shooter as well. So we're good to go. Pucks come off. All right, third shooter, random roller. Go on a random table. Five, five, all right. Five is the point. We're gonna set up our Hawaiian horn again. Oops, dirty stack. Why does all my stack all dirty? I just, you just stack it up when you get all these profits. You don't care. All right, and our $20 horn to complete our Hawaiian horn. All right, shooter, what do we need? A two or 12, two or 12, six. We don't, we need any number except big red so horn comes down we get paid seventy dollars right we put the 20 that down we again made another fifty dollars put that on the side let's go shooter we just need two hits from you and we're out four four we he did it twenty dollar comes down seventy 35 pays 70. The 70. We're not going to put back the field. And we made another $50 again. We made our $100. Guess what, guys? We are coming down again. Coming down. Take me down, dealer. This is a random roller. We want to stay out of harm's way and just play with the gravy train right here so all right i'm gonna play 44 inside because i want to see 
I can press this up with this shooter just in case. So have fun now. We're stress free. We don't care what he shoots. Eight. We don't care. We locked up our profits. 12, 15 for one or 14. I'll take the change. 14 here. We made $14. All right, two and six. Dice out. Aces. Oh, we're not playing the easy. If we was playing the easy, we would have made double the bubble. Dice out. Three craps. Three craps. Ah. Oh. Man, we're missing those, but it's all right. Eight. 21 so we collect the first one on the 8 so I'm gonna press it and how I like to press it is just give a nickel get a back a dollar and tell the dealer make you to a 30 all right let's go five winner five winner five winner five we got 15 for one one dollar here and puck is off come out roll seven seven is a winner doesn't hurt us at all dice out six six easy six mark the six all right shooter keep on going i'm cheering you oh Seven, ouch, seven, ouch. All right, you guys wanna do one more roll? One more roll, let's see what we do. I think that was pretty quick. Let's, then we got time for one more roll. We got the bank roll. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's see what we can do. Dice out on the random, eight, eight. By now, you guys know how to set it up, right? Or right now, your dealers should know how you've been playing if they're paying attention. 35 on the 4 and 10, 60, and 20 on the horn. All right. We just need two from this shooter. Two from you, Mr. Random. Oh, ouch. The PSO got us. The PSO got us. Oh my goodness. That hurt us. All of this comes down. I don't care what strategy you have, unless you're playing the don't. The PSO will wipe out your profits. But I'm glad it, it shows you the vulnerability of this strategy because the PSO or the two shaker bakers are gonna kill you. Um, so let's see how we did. Let's count up. That's 500 here. Six, seven, 800. Eight hundred eighty-five, eighty-four. So we actually lost money. Eight hundred eighty-four. Hmm. Not bad, but that's how it goes. You could keep on playing. You could get a long roll. You keep on doing it, but keeping it real. We got. Let me just count this again. Five, six, seven, eight. 884 we had fun uh, no 889 889 so we lost 111 on that only because of that pso but that pso is gonna come but if you last the whole round you should be a winner i mean you guys can see how much you win that pso is gonna kill every strategy so uh, it's part of the craps game. You can't eliminate that PSO. But if you do get on a good table and everybody gives you at least two hits, guess what? 
you made some money. All right, so 111 down. I'm not gonna fluff it. I'm not editing this video. I'm just gonna show you the reality because I wanna keep that transparency with you, my viewers, and that trust that you guys have in me that not all strategies will work, but it will work when it's going good. But the probability of someone throwing two any number that's that's a good bet i'll play that all the time and i do so that's the hawaiian horn all right hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys can implement this in your strategies and until next time don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button put in your comments if you make money off of this strategy you know send me a, a message or comment i would like to know how you guys do all right, take care. I'll see you guys next time. Aloha.